Hey girls, it's Phil here, and welcome to week three of the five minute flower challenge. Last week's project was super simple, but so pretty. We saw some amazing projects come through on social media, like this one. By Celia in Western Australia. The Springtime Blooms by Jessica. And even Mel got in on the action while on holidays in Japan. So this week we're doing something a little bit risky and getting out of our comfort zone by foraging from our neighbourhoods and seeing what we can find. It's a double challenge this week because we're challenging you to see what you can find in your neighbourhood as well as stick to just using greenery for this week's project. Amazing geranium here, which is enormous so it's not going to miss a little bit of pruning. I'm also going to grab a little bit of this. I'm not sure what it is, but it's really pretty. And it'll be fantastic for adding some height to an arrangement. It's got the most amazing texture. Let's go. So we're back from our forage session and got a whole lot of really interesting bits and pieces. Um, heaps of this beautiful geranium, this amazing acorn that I grabbed down at our local park to even dry little bits of weeds and grasses and get creative. Don't overlook even dead foliage like this, which is all dried out, can have so much um, character and texture. So for this week's challenge, we're gonna reuse the same tip that we learnt in week one of the challenge, which was the sticky tape grid. We're using an opaque vessel for our arrangement so that you don't see all the mechanics and the tangly stems of our forage bits and pieces. So we'll just get this grid going. Now because this isn't a giant vase, I've only put one single cross across the top just to provide a little bit of extra support for our stems. So now we've got our tape grid across the top. I'm just going to fill that with fresh water. It's always easier doing this before you started your arrangement. So to begin, we start with our biggest leaves to provide a bit of a base to start arranging from. Now I'm crisscrossing stems inside the vase to provide a little bit of anchorage and support. So now I'm going to add my branchy pieces and I'm going to use this acorn that I found. Now because this is pretty heavy, we're going to add one piece on each side to sort of balance the weight. So now that you've got the base and the general shape of your arrangement going, it's just a matter of filling in with lots of different textures and other little bits and pieces that you picked up while you were foraging. I'm just going to accentuate the shape with some of these taller bits. The key to a really fun arrangement is to use lots and lots of different textures. As you can see, we've got about 20 different shades of green in this. It can be challenging arranging with just greenery because often flowers are the star of the show. But greenery is so important because it provides so much texture and just this beautiful natural look to an arrangement. So I'm just going to add a little bit of an extra dimension with this dried out grass seed that I found. Some more depth and layers to the arrangement. Now finally, I'm just going to add a little bit of vine that I found hanging off my neighbor's fence to add some fun trailing bits to the arrangement. A little bit on both sides. Quite nice to wrap some of that vine around the base of your vase as well. How cool is that? Hopefully this week's challenge gets you inspired to go foraging in your neighbourhood to see what you can find. And don't forget to share your creation in the 5 Minute Flower Squad Facebook group or on Instagram from the team at Greenbox Co and myself. Have a beautiful weekend and we'll see you next week week four of the 5 Minute Flower Challenge.